At Wimbledon, Britain's girl tennis stars meet America's all-conquering queens in the 20th battle for the Whiteman Cup. Betty Hilton, ranked number three in this country, takes seven games off last year's Wimbledon champion, Margaret Osborne DuPont, but can't break through the Californian girls' smash service. Giving the Wimbledon champion a harder match than the score 6-3, 6-4 suggests, the English girl raises our hopes for next year's cup. The Americans, having lost the doubles in the first day, put in their champion pair, Louise Brough and Margaret Osborne, against Kay Menges and Betty Hilton. Match point in the second set, America leading 6-2, 5-2. Partly offsetting Britain's overwhelming defeat, the bright spot is provided by Jean Bostock at the far end. Against her redoubtable opponent, Louise Brough, the English girl comes very near to victory. 40, 50. Level at one set each, Miss Brough, favourite for the Wimbledon title, proves her superiority only in the last game. Smashing her way to victory, and she leaves Mrs. Bostock wondering whether it's all worthwhile. For the 12th time running, the Americans win the Whiteman Cup. Now that they have the round dozen, perhaps next year the Duchess of Kent will present the trophy to the England team.